Oh, let's go, Bourbon Quest. <laughs> it's your host, Bourbon Steve. What do we got tonight? Well, listen. Hey, as always, please stay hydrated, my friends. Ah, a little HCO goes a long way. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's February. We made it through Groundhog's Day. It's my birthday month, which is on the, uh, my birthday is on the 11th. So, God willing, me and, uh, Shipmeyer are going to the casino. We'll hopefully be filming from there. Between now and then, I'm working really a lot, so I don't know how much content we'll be putting out between uh, now and Valentine's Day, but let me assure you, after Valentine's Day, like on the 15th, 16th, no later than the 17th, we'll be starting Mash Madness. So I'll try and get that rolled out here quickly. Uh, I've got 64 bourbons uh, picked out, bracketed. We're going to do it like a uh, NCAA basketball tournament bracket. And um, I'll be doing it blind, so you'll be able to pick out between each round who's going to win. You get one point for round one, two points for round two, so forth. And then at the end, um, those brackets that are submitted and turned in, the winner will get a, a Weller Antique 107. So be on the lookout for that between now and shortly after Valentine's Day. We'll try and give you a, we'll, we'll get the brackets out hopefully a, a week before we start the event. But that's going to be freaking exciting. I'm, I'm really stoked about that. But you know, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to be working a lot, so there won't be a whole lot of content between now and then. However, like, you know, for instance, this evening, I had George come over, of course, all he wants to drink is a goddamn old fashioned, and whatever. He's not committed. But, anyways, so I was, because I got all those bottles strung out for coming up on Mash Madness. I was a little bit limited on what to choose from and I wanted to do a shoot tonight, but anyways, I was able to pick this up uh, when I was in Louisville, Kentucky uh, back in, yeah, it was really back in September. So this is a peerless bourbon. Uh, it's a single barrel um, that you can only get from the distillery single barrel selection. This particular one is called Alpine Summer. Let's see if I can read any of this shit on it. But, yeah, um, Alpine Summer with natural notes of evergreen and clover honey. Um, God damn. Uh, each single barrel peerless bourbon whiskey holds a complexity, complexity that elevates the quality of these unique bottles. Distilled, bottled, and aged on the banks of the Ohio River, this bourbon is the definition of Kentucky. So, you can go back and look at the videos. I, I, I apologize because I can't remember the, the gentleman's name that I met when I went to Perilous and, and wanted to get a, a single wear product. They had like two or three available. He explained the different varieties, notes, complexity, whatever, and, and I went with this Alpine Summer, so I haven't opened it, and, but we're going to do so right now, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in, uh, Prilis recently announced that they're doing a double oak bourbon, which, yeah, I will definitely purchase when I see that available, uh, but I think, you know, Prillis does a good job. They're, you know, they're a revitalized distillery, I guess you would say. I've heard great reviews on the rise. I'm not a rye guy, so I haven't purchased it. But I really enjoyed the uh, Prillis bourbon. And, and we'll definitely, you know, uh, tip my nose into the... Uh, 
Peerless Double Oak when I see it available in, in my area. But I was really excited about getting a single wear of Peerless. I've talked to my local liquor store here to try and get a, for them to do a store pickup Peerless. I'm like, come on, man. But you know, it, it's, it's a little pricey, but I think Peerless is well worth it. I really do. But anyways, so there's another look. Peerless, this is a, a single barrel offering that I got from the distillery called Alpine Summer. Sounds freaking delicious. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. A little Alpine Summer. So, this being a, a, a fresh crack, obviously it's going to go into the Infinity Bottle. There we go. All right, let's see what this is. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this one, so I hope it delivers. Mm. Man, so yeah, it's like, uh, what, February the uh, 3rd when I'm shooting this? Oh, my God. Man, that nose is so rich. Mm. I mean, super rich with caramel and vanilla, mint chocolate. Mm. Oh, a little bit of clover. This nose, oh, and the the nose is freaking fantastic. The color's beautiful. Mm. I mean, rich, dark, chocolate, vanilla, clover, caramel. I mean, a little bit of spice. Oh my God. This nose is freaking fantastic. Mmm. Man, that clover and that spice and vanilla. This is one of the most beautiful noses I've, I've experienced. I mean, there's been a few better, but this is... Mm. I mean, rich, dark chocolate, vanilla, clover. I mean, this is... Mm. I can nose this for a good 30, 45 minutes. Mmm. So good. I don't know. Let me go see. I want to see what the proof is on this. Um. The proof comes in at 112.4. Alright. Well, let's get into the taste. Uh, cheers, Bourbon Quest. Oh. Man, that's like... It's like deep, rich, dark chocolate, hazelnut, caramel vanilla, obviously, but... Really, the predominant flavors I get out there is like a uh, dark chocolate and hazelnut. That's spectacular. What do they call it? Alpine Summer? Mmm. Yeah, more of that vanilla and caramel spice. I still get that uh, hazelnut and dark chocolate. Oh my god. That's freaking fantastic. I want to say I probably paid right around a hundred bucks for this and it's it delivers. I mean that's that's oh I'm so glad I opened this. I, I mean I've been waiting to open it and then with Mash Madness coming you know, down the pike and 
not having a lot open on the shelf nothing really exciting for the most part in the first quarter I picked this up uh, a few months back and it's like yeah what the hell and oh my god that freaking delivers I mean listen um granted there, I mean their their single bears are gonna offer they are doing store picks although I've not yet to seen one um the liquor store I frequent most often I've mentioned to the uh, manager there like we we you should do a a, a peerless uh single barrel store pick and but I was able to pick this up don't you know when I was at the peerless distillery back in September and um I really apologize because I can't remember the gentleman's name that I spoke to but if you go back and look at my videos back in September you'll see it um, it was very informative uh, they had like two or three options at the time I was there and based upon uh, his information and knowledge I went and purchased this uh, uh, peerless single barrel called Alpine Summer and Oh, it delivers. This is freaking fantastic. Mmm. I mean, honestly, like, you know, one of the biggest, one of the bigger chases for last year was the uh, Russell's 13. I think this crushes. I mean, I'm not doing them side by side or but just off of my experience and knowledge. This is much better than the uh, Russell's uh, Reserve 13 year old. I mean, this is like, it's got deep dark chocolate, hazelnut, vanilla, caramel. I mean, it's got richness, complexity, mouthfeel. I mean, I, I, I probably, I mean, and I know some people may question or whatever, my rationale, whatever, but like, yes, I purchased this in 2021, but I didn't open it until 2022, and I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna put this in for whiskey of the year and because it, it didn't get into last year because I hadn't opened it yet it's delicious I think Peerless is doing a great job um, I think they I mean granted this is the only one I've had of their single beer offerings but I think by and large they do a great job this one's freaking fantastic so I'm going to put it in for whiskey of the year and um, see how it does because man it's amazing it really is oh the hazelnut mm. delicious well I thank you very much because I may have not opened this one for a little bit longer, but I was wanting to put out some content. I got Mash Madness coming up, so I'm trying to save those bottles. I had that on the shelf, saw it, and like, yeah, it's your time. So, anyways, hey, I love. I hope you love the content that I'm putting out. Uh, if so, uh, please uh, hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell for notifications, leave a comment, and as always, my wish for you is that all your bourbon quest dreams come true. This is, this is becoming one of my favorite bottles of all time. Like, it's no Jack Daniels, uh, Coy Hill, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's superb. It really is. I freaking love this. Alright, I'm going to go drink some more uh, of this. And I'm going to say farewell.
to you in bourbon class. But hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, ring a bell for notification, leave a comment, and listen. Really, honestly, I I want to get I want to get to 500 subscribers before the end of April. We're like at 350 something, and when we get to 500, I'm getting a freaking cat. It's going to be a celebrity on Bourbon Quest, and its name's going to be Q, but we got to get to 500 before that happens. We're getting there close. Let's, let's do that by the end of April, okay? Uh, tell your friends, your in-laws, your outlaws, your ex-laws, your mother-in-laws, your ex well, you know, whatever. But, hey, this, hey, Peerless is doing a great job. I've heard great things on the Peerless Rye. I'm not a Rye fan. I haven't bought it, but uh, the bourbon's fantastic. The single world's fantastic. I'm on the hunt for the uh, Peerless Double Oak. Let me know what you think, but I think they're killing it. They're doing a great job. And as always, cheers, Bourbon Quest. Stay hydrated. And just know that I love you. That's right. Mm. Mm. Man, that's good. I'm going to crush this in no time. And I don't, what's the proof on that? Yeah, 112.4. Fucking delicious. All right. Good night, Bourbon Quest. And as always. May all your bourbon class dreams come true. That's right. Ha <laughs> ha. That peerless is magnificent. I'm not joking, bro.